What's up everybody, Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. We are coming at you again with another sweet video talking about, well, the FE handbook and the changes that are coming. We already did a video about the differences between the specifications, but now we want to talk about the FE handbook and let me just give you a secret. It's huge. The FE handbook has just gotten huge. So this is a COVID edition. Welcome my coworker. It's my awesome daughter. And she's with me watching some fun shows. So we want to talk about it. I'll flip the screen and we can compare the old version of the handbook and the new version of the handbook and see uh, what the changes are. Abigail, you got any comments to that? No? Okay. All right, thanks for joining me. Let's flip this around and we'll get going on it. All right, guys, check it out. So we have flipped the screen. And now what I have here is I have FE Reference Handbook 10.0 on the left-hand side and FE Reference Handbook 9.5 uh, on the right-hand side. And I'm just going to kind of go through this and uh, point out the differences. Now, the first major difference, apart from the graphics, that they're using here is if you look at the total page count the one on the left is 500 pages so this this is a serious manual now and don't let that scare you though as we go through it I'll explain why it's 500 pages now this guy is only only uh, 293 pages so you can see right off the bat the uh, amount of pages it's just a bigger bigger manual you know, and that, that, like I said, that shouldn't scare you. Most of the time when you're taking the FE exam, you're using the search function anyway. But, you know, this really messes with where things are at, what page number they're at, and things like that. So, anyway, that's just what you're seeing right off the bat. Nice little graphic, checking out the computer-based testing. Let's just go through this, um, see what we got. So, uh, right here, about the handbook, the FE exam is computer-based. The FE Reference Handbook is the only resource material you can take uh, with you to the exam. Actually, you can't take it with you, but you can use it during the exam. Reviewing it before exam day, it will help you become familiar with the charts, formulas, tables, and other resource information provided. You won't be allowed to bring your personal copy of the handbook into the exam room. Instead, you get a uh, with the computer base, you get access to a PDF of this thing, and that's what you get. Um, you know, that's all really we need to read about. Let's read this though. The FE reference handbook does not contain all the information required to answer every question on the exam. Dun, dun, dun. Basic theories, conversions, formulas, and definitions examinees are expected to know, and they have not been included. Special material required for the solution of a particular exam question will be included in the question itself. So this is just a catch-all basically saying we can ask you stuff that's not in here. You know, you need to have some basic stuff memorized if you're studying this exam and hopefully you know that if you're in college. If not, uh, hopefully you've practiced enough problems to actually go through that and understand it. Um, what else? Uh, they've got errata, so if there's any errata on this, you can go check out the NCES.org. Okay, that's beautiful. Let's go look at this. So here's your contents. Here's the major changes here. So you've got units and conversions, page one. So they had units and conversions on two different pages. Safety is still there. Mathematics is still there. Engineering, probability, and statistics is still there. Chemistry and biology. Now it's just chemistry. Material science and structure matters. But it's the same thing. Statics got statics on both dynamics on both mechanics and materials on both thermodynamics on both fluid mechanics fluid mechanics heat transfer heat transfer instrumentation measurement and control that's all there engineering economics is still on both chemical engineering still on both uh, what's this one civil engineering civil engineering environmental engineering is there Electrical and computer engineering still there. Industrial engineering still there. Mechanical engineering still there. Index and FE exam specifications, which is the same as appendix FE exam specification. So, same topics, not seeing much change there. So here's what's really changed. So um, they've basically 
taken stuff from being it's just really the formatting of the of the manual okay so now you've got your page numbers on the bottom they've got rid of what you know topic you're in on the bottom so now you just have page numbers and they've really just kind of spaced this out a little more so this is why it's 500 pages is because you get stuff like well let's go look at unit conversions it's still in a column layout okay ethics uh oh here's the difference so ethics you can see they use this column type layout which I, I don't have a problem with it really kind of reduced the page count and now they've just spread everything out they changed the margins and you get rid of the two column look and it's one column only so that's really all you're dealing with so um, and because of that if you go through the whole thing it's really the only major change is that they got rid of uh, the column layout and moved into a just a one page document so yeah jumping through here here's your safety definition of safety it's all still there it's all the same there's really not much changed here so you can see the spacing and text format is really just the only thing that that changed on this uh, they, they just kind of spread it out so um, that's really it. I can scroll through this whole thing if you are interested. So they're just getting rid of that, getting rid of that column type layout, like I said, and going to just a one page document with one column through the whole thing. So let's go to some charts, chemical compatibility chart looks the same. This looks a little, obviously a little different here for detailed corrosion. So there might be a little bit more added there. But really, guys, I just, I'm just not seeing all that much changing here. So getting down into the meat of some of the stuff, your distribution, T-distributions, probability and statistics, some good stuff there. I mean, so instead of a column layout like a, or a two-column layout, you get go back to a single-column layout. The charts are probably exactly the same. Everything's the same on here. So guys, I, I really don't see much changing here in terms of content itself. All you're doing is changing the format of the book. I'm sure there are some updates to some things generally, but your main categories are all still here. All the main topics are still the same in the table of contents. Uh, they updated the specs at the bottom, obviously, to be, more, to be in line with, um, well, the new spec, right? So starting in July, the spec changed so you get a new amount of questions some of the topics were combined they got rid of comp, uh, computer or uh, what would, crap was it computational tools and uh, that's really it so guys this is the big difference between the two handbooks don't let that scare you one's 500 pages now the other was 293 they just got rid of the the two column layout went to a single page type document and that's what you're dealing with so what do you think about it does this change your opinion about the handbook? Does it scare you at all? Let me know in the comments what you think about the handbook change. Um, was it even needed? Do you guys think it was? Uh, the NCES always changes things, right? That's just the nature of the game. Every few years, they're going to change it. They're going to change the handbook. They're going to change the specifications. Uh, they pr probably can do that more often with it being computer-based. The other thing I see them doing is they're gearing up for the PE exam eventually going computer-based too. And pretty soon you'll only have a reference manual for that provided by the NCES organization. So that's going to be another five, six, seven hundred page document that you're going to have to be able to search through and find engineering topics on with the same kind of disclaimer that they don't catch everything as part of it. So guys, uh, that is what we are dealing with. And that's going to wrap it up for me. Like I said, leave a comment in the, in the video, on the, underneath the video, about what you think about the handbook changes, what your concerns are with the handbook changes, and uh, anything else you want to talk about. Totally interested in it. Hope you're doing well, and hopefully this was valuable to you to see this because things are changing in July. So if you're uh, out June 30th, I guess is what they said, but if you're taking it in July, and later, you're going to Handbook 10. Before that, you're still in the old one. 
Let me know if you have questions. If you need a course, go check us out. We've got some free training at civilfereviewcourse.com slash free training. Go sign up for that and we will walk you through how to pass this thing your first time. Um, we have not updated that training yet with the new handbook and such, but it's still very valuable and we will get to that. So anyway, guys, go check us out. It'll be really good for you. And uh, hopefully this was valuable to you and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's up, everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, earthquake. Hey, black and white. Nice color. Little blue tone. What's up? Whoa! Ooh. The FE is haunting you. Your brain's gonna explode. <laughs> uh, I love it.